welcome to How to Varnish a Front Door with an acrylic varnish, polyurethane varnish. Um, these are the materials and tools that you're going to be using. I have already rubbed the door down following the grain with the different panels following the grain with 120 and that's the grade aluminium oxide sandpaper so for instance I've double folded it and this panel here and rub it down following the grain of the timber like so like so and after rubbing down the entire door front door I've used a dusting brush and gone all over the door, dusting down, getting rid of all the dust. Um, so we now don't need that anymore. So I can put that to one side. The scraper, you use that to open your tin of varnish. Um, so we don't need the scraper anymore. That can go to one side. And I've already emptied the polyurethane varnish into our roller tray um, and into our kettle. So we now don't need this anymore. We can put that to one side. So now we have a rad roller, um, and rad is short for radiator. It's a radiator roller, but in the professional world, we call it a rad roller. And this is designed for when you're painting, going behind your radiator. But today, what we're gonna do is I've now changed the sleeve and I now have a mohair sleeve. Now this sleeve is a very short pile, very short pile, and it don't release any hairs. So what you then do, you gotta break it in the varnish, load in the roller, and as you can see the varnish is a creamy whitey colour. So you load the varnish onto the red roller sleeve. And we also have a one and a half inch brush. Now this brush is synthetic brush, which is made for acrylic paints and acrylic um, varnishes, acrylic oils, anything that's acrylic. And acrylic is obviously something that is water-based. So, Put some in my kettle. I don't know if any of you have seen my previous videos when it comes to loading, when you tap, 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 and it creates a vacuum. As you can see, no drips. So tap, tap, and it creates a vacuum. No drips at all. Right. So this door is a hardwood door. It's made out of mahogany. Mahogany is a browny color and it's a hardwood, um, and it's a tropical uh, timber, um, mainly found in the Caribbean. Um, and it's a panel hardwood door. And the reason why it's called a panel hardwood door, because it has insert panels on the door. One panel at a time. We are gonna cut in to the beading. We're gonna paint the beading, the inserts here and then we're going to roll the flat pieces. So, I'll show you what I mean. And as you can see, the mahogany is looking as though it is wet, which it obviously is because you've just put acrylic varnish on, which is a water base. But as the varnish touches the timber, as the varnish touches the timber, it goes slightly darker. And with your rag roller, you just roll the inserts. 
of the panel and then lay it off with the roller. And that's one of the panels done. And I'm going to do all six inserts first before I move on to the edges of the door. So it doesn't matter what direction you use to apply the varnish, but it's also important that once you have finished, just go over the panel like so, and you're using the roller to lay it off. That means to give you a nice, even, smooth finish. slowly, gently lay it off.
Now I've done all the inserts, I'm now going to do the two edges of the doors. Before I roll that, I just need to cut in. Now the dust sheets on the floor to protect the floor. I'm now cutting into the dust sheet. And I'll then roll up to the cutting in.
and that is the first coat. You repeat that three times. So yeah, thank you for watching um, how to varnish a front door with an acrylic varnish using a red roller and a synthetic brush. So if you want to see more of these videos, tune in to um, How To With Russ and I'll see you on the next one.